Melchizedek foreshadowed the works of the Messiah in the world before the word of God became flesh. That is why the scriptures in the book of Hebrews said he was made like unto a son of God. The word of God was the son of God that became flesh. The sons of God are the angels. How did Yahshua obtain all three positions in the world to restore Adam? We have to go back to Abraham. Abraham was the next person, the most high called after Melchizedek. From Adam to Melchizedek, we saw how the Most High preserved his laws and his words throughout the generations via our Father who were appointed. The Most High didn't use religion to preserve his words and laws. He used the people he called and anointed. It started with Adam, Seth, Enos, Canaan, Mahalalel, Jared, Enoch, Methuselah, Lamech, Noah, Shem, Melchizedek, and now Abraham. The scriptures in the Bible start the journey of our salvation with Abraham. We often hear religious pastors reciting the covenant the Most High made with Abraham to make him a father to many nations. The workers of iniquity and religion use this covenant to give all people salvation. The Most High granted salvation to Adam and his seed only. Remember, Eve is the mother to all living. Adam is not the father to all living. I will keep reminding you that there are two species of mankind and the fallen watchers are the father to one of those species of mankind. 